Hey guys, I'm Jake, and this is your Atlas Weekly for Wednesday, August 27th. <laughs> While there's a lot of really great stuff coming out this week, there's not a whole lot that's new and particularly notable, but I do have a few gems. Wayward number one from Image Comics is written by the really awesome Jim Zub, and it's heralded as a Buffy the Vampire Slayer for a new generation in Japan. Wolverine number 12 continues the countdown to Wolverine's supposed death, and this issue includes a full-out smackdown between Sabretooth and Wolverine himself. Guardians of the Galaxy 18 is a phenomenal issue. It picks up right where the previous series ended, with a battle in the Cansiverse between Thanos and Star-Lord, Nova, and Drax, with the Cosmic Cube and their lives in the balance. Now I'm going to throw it over to Darren for some of his picks of the week. Thanks, Jake. This week marks the end of one of my favorite New 52 titles in All-Star Western. Darwin Cook is illustrating this book, and it is gorgeous. Several years ago, Matt Wagner had a phenomenal Zorro run through Dynamite Entertainment. This week, there is the trade of a companion series, Lady Rawhide, and she was introduced in this Matt Wagner series, and I would definitely check this out if you are a fan of Zorro and his compatriots. My sentimental pick this week is Don Rosa's Volume 1 hardcover of his Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck that he has been doing for 20 some odd years. I would definitely check this out if you're looking for something after the hiatus from the Carl Barks volumes. There's a lot of great trades out this week and my favorite of the bunch is the Jessica Jones Pulse Complete Collection. It includes the entire Pulse run written by Bendis that follows up after Alias it's a must if you're a fan of the character or perhaps getting pumped for her new show on Netflix next year. Deadpool vs. Carnage is out in trade this week. And if you like Deadpool and you like Carnage and you want them to fight, this book will not disappoint you at all. Fuse Volume 1 is the next $10 trade from Image Comics. It includes the first six issues and it's CSI in space, but way cooler than both of those things. Except maybe space. Space is pretty awesome. Fables Volume 20 is here, and it gives you the entire Camelot arc, which goes through issue 140, and yes, sadly, the series will end at 150. If you're pumped for Kingsman, The Secret Service, coming out pretty soon, then you gotta check out the source material, The Secret Service, colon Kingsman. It's by Mark Millar and drawn by Watchmen's Dave Gibbons. This book is awesome. It is a big week for pops up in here, too. We got two True Blood pops, Sookie and Al Seed, just in time to mourn the loss of the show. We also got some Turtles Pops. We got April, Bebop, and Rocksteady. And we've got pretty much the entire line of Breaking Bad Pops. These things are ridiculously cute. The Heisenberg figure is the cutest thing you'll ever see holding a gun and a bag of meth. Number three in the Fabrication series from Funko is here, and he is Boba Fett. He is adorable, and if you're a fan, he wants to come home with you. McFarlane Toys brings us another comic book store exclusive Walking Dead action figure two-pack. They're based on the comic, and it's Bloody Rick in black and white, Bloody Andrea in black and white, and a boatload of weapons also stained in blood. After getting the Mal Firefly figures last week, this week we get Jane, Zoe, and Kaylee. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to hit us up on the Facebooks and check us out using some of the services represented by icons that should be in front of me now. Warriors, come out and play! Who knows? It could be its own show in a few years and be valuable. I don't think the cover, like the covers might turn a few people off. It's not so much a Guardians issue as much as, well, no it is. It's just old school Guardians. Uh, it's on Masterpiece. This is really good. It picks you up. Guardians of the Galaxy 18 is fantastic. And Nova versus Thanos with the Infinity Cube. No, not the Infinity Cube, the Cosmic, the Tesseract. No, they don't call it the Tesseract in the comics, do they? I don't think they've ever called it the Tesseract in the comics. It's the Cosmic Cube. Full out Thanos. 
he's not even like really wearing any clothes anymore. Like his hat and his gauntlets are like a huge part of his look. And he looks weird with no clothes. Is the Jessica Jones collection, is it, it's Jessica, what do they call this thing? Jessica Jones Pulse, the complete collection. Now I'm gonna throw it over to Darren for some of his picks of the week. Thanks, Jake. This week is, thanks, Jake. Oh, gosh, hold on. <clears throat> the end has come. Thanks, Jake. I just moved, didn't I? Boom. Cement, okay. Thanks, Jake. No, shoot. And I could not be more excited. Ah, no. <clears throat> Let me do that again. <clears throat> phenomenal, phenomenal, no. Let's not go with phenomenal. Fuse Volume 1 is the next $10 trade from Image. It contains the first, I should, no, is it five or six? Oh, it don't say on the page. Okay. Fuse Volume 1 from Image Comics is the next $10 trade that, okay. And it's CSI in space, but way cooler than both of those things. Except maybe space, space is pretty awesome. As cool as space. Bones are ringing. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to check back, er, I, lo I love saying hit us up on the Facebook, so that my friends find that hilarious, but <laughs> why not? Um, that's it for this week, guys. Be sure to hit us up on the Facebooks or check us out on guys that will probably, or on um, icons that should be appearing in front of me. <laughs> that's it for this week, guys. Be sure to hit us up on the Facebooks and check us out using some of the services represented by icons that should be in front of me now. God. <laughs> All right.